Doesn't look like there's gonna be that much exploration. Looks, it reminds me already. Two gill, nice. <laughs> two bucks on the floor. Two shillings. It reminds me of Final Fantasy 13 as of right now. The narrowness, you know, the the very tight corridors here that we're gonna be exploring like very briefly. You kind of know where you're getting into, right? I'm assuming we're running into our first little grouping here. Oh god, oh no! They look disgusting! So it doesn't look like they're gonna try to communicate with them, they're probably feral. Oh no! Sir Tyler! I think he's Tyler, I don't know. Damn, they are gnarly looking, look at them bro, look at the face, oh my god! With me! With me! They got makeshift weapons. Magic Burst. Use triangle after striking an opponent with square to conjure a magic explosion that deals significant damage. Okay. Alright, so far so easy. These little muggers here. Goblin muggers. Oh, I like the little experience little thing on the right. It looks very neat. We should press on. There may be more ahead. Alright, I'm assuming there's just going to be little groupings of them here and there, and then maybe like a sub-boss or something. Oh, see, there's an item back there, look at that. Yeah, saw you. You want to escape in my view. A strength tonic, I'm assuming extra damage for 90 seconds then, kind of like the the strength and vulnerability skin thing. Welcome to Stillwind. Have care, my lord. Alright, up a little a little more grouping of goblins There's here. More. There's that magic burst they were talking about. Loot. Some enemies will drop kill or items upon their defeat. Loot is gathered automatically by approaching the glittering icon. Alright, sounds good. Oh yo, we did like a ground slam there. While oh, he was knocked down. Easy enough so far in the combat, but these are the very, very beginning. Alright, looks like we got them all. A little bit of gill here to spend. Some chump change. Another item back here. Let's go ahead and grab that. Oh, there's a doorway. I thought it was on the shelf. A regular potion. We'll definitely need those. I'm always needing to heal in these types of games. Now, I can tell you one thing I'm going to miss about this game, or Final Fantasy already. Controlling other party members. I love controlling, like, multiple party members, not just your main guy. Like, I feel like 7 Remake did it the best, where, like, you can still play as, like, Tifa and Aerith and all that. And it was just a completely different experience, you know? Any goblins back here? Not that are apparent. They're probably hiding or something. Nothing in this building, surprisingly. Wait, there's an upstairs. May have spoken too soon, and we have. Look at that. Another strength tonic. Another potion. Insufficient inventory space. Potion used. What the fuck? Insufficient inventory space. So we've got that limited of an inventory? That's kind of nuts, huh? Okay, we could just jump off. That's good. That was an item, though, or was that the butterflies? I think that might have been the butterflies we were seeing. Trying to use my okay, so my hunter vision didn't give me hunter vision right there. What it did is I it just like showed me the camera like where to go. All right, still in Marsh, an area of swamp land that searches northeast from R Rosalith Castle. The odd village could once be found here, but nothing to compare to the lively settlements in line on the major roads, roads of the realm. And with the encroachment of the blight and the creatures driven before it, even these scant settlements were soon deserted. Sir Wade. Okay, so that guy was Sir Wade. A loyal shield of Rosaria chosen by Lord Commander Rodney Murdoch to accompany Clive on his expedition to Stillwin. Once, but a low-born page. I don't know what the fuck that is. Wade was inspired to join the ranks after a woodpile fell on him and his life was saved by a young Joshua. Oh! So Joshua saved his life. That's pretty cool. Sir Tyler, a loyal shield of Rosaria and son of a noble family. 
Tyler followed in his father's footsteps in entering the service of the Duchy. Rising to the position of right-hand man to the Lord Commander, he was chosen by Lord Murdoch to accompany Clive on his expedition to Stillwind, a level head who could be trusted not only to obey the young Lord Marquis's orders and keep him safe, but to help him keep his fiery Sir Wade in line. Okay, so like, the second to the right-hand man. Okay, that's not that bad. Goblins, a common species of beast man. While at first glance they seem like a mindless predators, goblins have their own unique language. Okay, so they are not just like feral. They have their own things going on. And are skilled enough to both cast magics and make rudimentary tools of weapons. While mostly found on the continent of Storm, the spread of the blight has forced them to find homes nearby human settlements, a move that oft ends in misunderstanding and bloodshed. So they're not all bad. It says there's misunderstanding there. Okay. <laughs> Maybe they're not like just all bad as they seem. They're just kind of like, hey, yo, why are you on our turf? And then they just start throwing shit at each other and killing each other, right? Watch out, my lord. Some Oops, of that's not what I meant to do. And what a number. We'll all have our hands full here. Yeah, there are a lot of them here. There's a magic guy, a weaver, they're called. New enemy, bro, you're trolling. Okay, we got that one. There's more coming, apparently. Oh, we stomped him right in the nuts! Oh, no. That's fucked up, bro. Why'd you do that? It's messed up. Oh, the Weaver charged up an attack on me. We're already pretty low on health. They're actually doing a lot of damage, huh? Even though they're just jobbers. And some items here. Looks like just a little bit of chump change again. Something we can break here. Get another item. So maybe we just ran out of potion. Yeah, we probably just ran out of potion slots. I'm assuming we can still pick up some items. Let's check the left side. Doesn't look like there's anything, but you never know. Yeah, see, look at the potion on the bottom left. It's all yellow, so that probably means that's the capacity we have for now. Cool. Got the bridge down. We should be nearing the old village square. It might not be a nest of goblins. Alright, so this is the town square, I'm assuming, that we are just talking about. Might be an onslaught of them here. It does look like there's a lot of places they could be hiding in. Yup, look at this. What an ass. Here they come. Sneaky sods. <laughs> Sneaky sods. We're trapped. My lord. I'm working on it. I'm working on it? Just kill him. What do you mean working on it? Get rid of him. Oh, there's a lot of them. He's the leader. Ew. But we'll have to take care of his followers first. <laughs> He's like, hey, get over here! If you have to ask. Oh, we got that precision dodge. Got him. Oh, we got oh Phoenix Dash. Stopped him from hitting uh, Sir Tyler there, I think. Got him. Oh, big uppercut. Yeah, not looking so tough now, are you? Oh, he's mad. Oh! <laughs> Yo! Big gobby boy. Come on, Wade, get up. Formidable foes. Larger enemies must be faced with caution. They have far more HP than their smaller counterparts and will often use devastating abilities to overwhelm opponents. Use the blessing of the Phoenix not only to deal considerable damage to these enemies, but also break their wills. Breaking an enemy's will will stagger it, leaving it unable to act and vulnerable to attacks. Got it. Got him! Parry, you square just as an opponent is about to par uh, attacks to parry the strike, temporarily slowing time and leaving the opponent open to a counter. Oh, I didn't know this. It's getting staggered right here. This is our chance. Partial stagger. Enemies will become partially staggered when their world gauge is reduced to 50%, creating a sh short opening in which combination attacks are easily landed. 
okay, so there's a full-on stagger where they just don't move, and a partial stagger where you reach the halfway point where you're like, alright, this, this is it. We're doing some damage now. Aw, oh, man, he hit me straight on with that one. There we go, ability chain, here we go. Stagger. Hit his ass! Hitting them while they're down, completely reducing the enemy's wool gauge will stagger it. Extra damage is dealt when an enemy is fully staggered, increasing with each strike landed up to a maximum of 150%. The total amount of damage dealt during this time is displayed upon the enemy regaining its senses. Uh, wait. Okay, okay. But, um, this is very heavily influenced by Final Fantasy XIII. Stagger meter, I think, was introduced there, and it was, like, one of my favorite things about that game. I love the stagger meter. We don't have the Phoenix Uppercut, bro! No, he's getting up, he's getting- stop him! Yo, he is- yo, he's swinging that thing! Got him to halfway. Alright. Hit him with the magic burst! Oh, he's swinging again! Come on, magic burst his ass. Oh, yep, dodge that. We're good, we're good. Hit him with the uppercut. Staggered again. Take down. Yeah, he's done. This guy's done. It's over for him. Stomp him. Let's go. Get his ass. No, nah, he's getting up. Y'all, you're crazy. Oh, let's get out of here. And finishing it with the uppercut. The Gygus has been slain. We got some XP, whatever that blue stuff is. Some gill. Oh no, we got no gill. It says zero. Level up or hit level six. A little bit more everything. Alright, cool, cool. I wonder if those are randomly generated or if they're already predetermined by level. Battle rewards. Following important battles, a separate result screen will appear displaying battle performance and rewards. Rewards are based on performance and may include items like gear, which is the blue stuff. Oh, no, no. Gear, ability points are the blue stuff, and experience points are the red one. Okay. Got his ass. Come back One and second. Fight, you coward! After him, before he summons the rest. All right, gear and abilities. Gear can significantly improve player attributes, but only when equipped with the gear tab in the main menu. Similarly, the right abilities can turn the tide of battle, but only if learned and mastered via the abilities tab in the main menu. Mastering existing abilities as well as learning new ones requires ability points, which are earned in battle by or by completing quests. Alright, so we gotta go follow that guy. He's over here. Let's see if there's any other items. Looks like we're good. Let's go ahead and check out the menu real quick. Let's go to... I think we got a helmet or something, it said? This gear. Yeah, hard leather armlets. Armlets, not helmet. Let's go ahead and equip that, but you might as well, right? These are the rings that make it easy. Uh, ring, ring, ring. Yep, they're all rings. Yeah, no, I'm good without these. Alright, we look good in those departments. Abilities. Ability points can be spent in the abilities tab to acquire new abilities as well as upgrade existing ones. If you are unsatisfied with Clive's current build, reset all abilities and try again as there is no penalty for doing so, which is really cool. I like that a lot. Ability details. Details of each ability and feat can be viewed by selecting its icon. Sword indicates an ability's capacity for dealing damage and... Stars indicate an ability's capacity for breaking the target's will. That's good. Alright, so what do we have here? How many do we have? We have 152. Can we even get anything? Can you melee attack? It's already mastered. So we don't have enough for... Oh, wait. We have enough for this stuff. We can lunge. So X and uh, square to swiftly close in and attack a distant enemy. X and square while in the air to slice down. Hold square to imbue Clive's blade with fire, releasing to unleash an, a, a powerful attack. R2 and touch bat to pull the attention of an enemy target. What? 
R2 and touchpad. All right, so it's a, like a taunt, essentially. Oh, it's called taunt, lol. Swift recovery. Use R1 to recover immediately after being knocked down by an enemy. I think that sounds really good. Let's get that. Use X while in the air to kick off a nearby enemy, increasing jump height and duration. Okay, I like that one as well. We're going to go ahead and do that. Hold triangle to increase the potency of magic spell. Release the cast. I like that as well. We're definitely getting that. Use triangle immediately after landing a melee attack to deliver a close range magical burst. We have it, but we can master it uh, by getting it again. Okay. I'll save the rest of my points for now. We don't know exactly. Like, I want to get some of this stuff too, right? So, we'll, we'll go ahead and save our points for now. All right. And let's get back into what we're doing, chasing down the leader. Got a high potion, that's gonna be useful as fuck. We also got a regular potion, which was used immediately. Oh no. I thought I could shift him, but it didn't work. Oh, what a troll! Knocked down the entire house. What a dick. Doesn't look like there's any items, I'm just checking real quick. Go, 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 he's getting away! A big open field, uh-oh. I'd be a boss or something. If it's not him himself. This ends now. <laughs> it's like he has like a little fucking goatee or like fucking chin badge right there, you see that? Uh-oh. What's going on? Oh, <laughs> he got fucked. Oh, no. I mean, we we're going to kill him anyways, but that was fucked up. A morble. Hmm. I guess they're usually in the north. Oh, yo, big damage right there. That's huge. I wonder if we can charge any more or if it's just that one. It looks like it's just that one. Yeah, this charge is good. Look at this. It's doing decent damage. It's staggering and pretty well. It's not bad. We're keeping our distance, too. It does more than the 10. Oh, the tar. Fuck. Oh, the gas. Let's try going in now. Oh, we can, we can leap up, too. Remember, we got that ability to leap up and be in the air longer. getting him. Oh, he got us. Ah, oh, yo, the breath. Gotta use the potion real quick. Parried him. And we hit him with the stagger. Come on, get him. Yes, the uppercut, that's huge. 2,000 damage. Oh, y'all! He fucking started twerking on me. What was that? This is as good as mine. So he's in the water somewhere. Oh, he's sucking! Yo, he's sucking! That's a big suck! Damn, this man created a whole fucking whirlpool out here. Haroom! Cinematic strike. When the screen flashes blue like the like this during a pivotal moment in battle, press square before time runs out to deliver a devastate a devastating a devastating blow. Oh. Yeah. oh, and he staggered again. That's huge. Nice. So I'm assuming that'll happen in every major fight. Hit him! Hit him! Get him! Oh, I'm going in, boys! Please don't start twerking on me again. I can't take it. You gotta back up. Oh, I read it too late. I hit him with the whoop. Oh, no. Oh, we backed up perfectly with that, actually. The magic shot. I do not like that it pushes us back a little bit, but it's fine. You know, it is what it is. It actually kind of helps. I mean, it's keeping us zoned out, but not my favorite thing about the ability. That's for damn sure. Hit him with the partial stagger here. 
Okay, she's gonna hit us. She's gonna hit us. Charge. No, no, no. Back up, back up, back up. Oh, another potion's gotta be used. Go ahead and hit him with the charge shot here. Oh man. Okay, I'm trying to charge this. Not charging properly sometimes. The <laughs> trophy earned. We got him staggered. Go, go, go. We got like 2300 last time. Oh, we got a lot less. Oh, shit. That was awful. Let's back up. Let's back up. Let's back up. He won't be gone for long. He's too far gone. What, do I need to heal him or? Oh, shit. Here we go again. The big suck. Alright, at least we don't get hit by that. Cinematic evasion. When the screen flashes red like this during a pivotal moment in battle, press R1 before time runs out to evade an incoming attack. Oh, oh and it staggers him too. That's huge. He won't be gone for long. Come on, let's go. Get his ass. Okay, we get we got back to 2300 this time. I think it was the literally the Phoenix shift or the Phoenix strike that did it. Like that damage difference, right? Oh my god! He's gonna hit us with the wild rage! Oh shit! Oh, I used a high potion on accident, I didn't mean to. He's going into a frenzy. He's almost dead. If we can stagger him one more time, I think we'll have him. Hit him with the uppercut. That did a lot of damage. Okay, we gotta go, we gotta go. No, right, I keep calling it, but it's like right before. Here it comes. Oh, he's still coming. Get his ass. Staggered. Okay, this one's gotta be it, right? Hit him with the uppercut. Yeah, this has gotta be it. In stagger mode. Yeah, he's done. Look at him, he's done. Marble slain. We got a bunch of XP, a little bit of ability points. We leveled up again too. Level seven. No spoils. Surprise there. I thought we'd get something. We got him. Big Marble boy. He's down for the count. Is <laughs> you parched? I never thought I'd see it. A morble? Just goblins in Rosaria, but morbles too. I'll petition His Grace to send a detachment. Hmm. So there's going to be more of them, not just one. If we don't stop them here, they'll be at our gates before long. Yeah, I'd be fucked up having these things pop up in the kingdom. That'd be crazy. We should get moving. We don't want to be caught out here after dark. If we set off now, we can still reach Phoenix Gate before nightfall. Nice. <laughs> He's like, damn, we took that shit down. That's crazy. Wait till dad hears about this. Oh, no, he's not. Oh, no, he's just mad. He's mad at the morbles for morbling. The morble vibes. Alright, so this should be us going to the Phoenix Gate. Yep, lost in the fog, get to the Phoenix Gate. Give me one second, guys, my bad. Alright. Phoenix Gate, Northwestern Rosaria. This aging seaboard citadel not only defends Rosaria from northern raiding parties, but also serves as sacred account ground whereupon the duchy's dominant might commune with his or her ancestors and entreat their guidance on the eve of important battles. Here we go. The Northern Gate. Some time later. Phoenix Gate, the Grand Duchy of Rosario. Suddenly, thousands of red eyes. <laughs> He's hyping up the story. Look, wait till you hear this. Wait till you hear this. His lordship draws his sword. <laughs> <laughs> the Duchy runs off screaming. 
<laughs> He's hyping us up, bro. Yeah, yeah, tell it again. Tell him, let him know. Let him know. <laughs> has a bright future ahead of him. Aye. And one of these nights, he may even deign to join us. Yeah, he might. Especially <laughs> if his mom has anything to say about it, right? Mm. Just another man, as she mm. said. He's just fucked up. Your own son. Yo, that man's got a big-ass piece of shmeat. Pause? I forgot what those, like, forks are called. They're, like, especially made for meat, I'm pretty sure. Yo, they are getting hyphy, bro. Are you unwell? Uh, yeah. I'm fucking coughing like a lung. Well, it has been a long day. They all like Clive, don't they? Well, yeah, I mean, they're hyping him up at the story, why wouldn't they? Your brother will be a fine shield. We're all very proud of him. That's good. At least his dad will recognize him. Joshua does, of course. Dominus is always born into our family. That is a great question, Joshua. Now, hold on, let me see if there's any time thing. Okay, the Phoenix Gate. A walled keep situated near Rosaria's northwestern border. It is originally constructed to serve as an outpost in the wars during the northern territories, but its true significance lies deep within the ruins atop which the stronghold stands. Here, in an ancient chamber accessible only to the dominant of fire, is held the rite of ancestral communion, an important ritual in which it is believed that the phoenix can hear the words of the duchy's forebears. I wonder if it's true or if it's just like they go in there. And they don't say it, but no one talks to them, right? Because it's just not a thing that happens. Dominant. Those within whom sleeps the power of the icon, though they look and think no differently to any other man or woman, they can not only cast elemental magics without a crystal, but also transform themselves into beasts of world-shattering strength at any moment, a quality for which they are honored, worshipped, and feared over the realm. Yeah, that'd be crazy. Basically, attack on Titan in Final Fantasy. Literally, they have a Titan. So, like, yeah... The Ducal Army, the loyal soldier of the du Duchy of Rosaria, they serve under the Standing Army's Lord Commander, whose task is to enact the will of the, their sovereign, the Archduke. Those who show sufficient aptitude, or who are blessed with sufficient nobility of birth, are made shields, personal retrainers to think to the Archduke himself. Sorry, retainers, not retrainers. Joshua Rossfield, second son of the Archduke of Rosaria. Joshua was appointed the heir to the ducal throne by virtue of his awakening as the dominant of the Phoenix. His love and admiration for his elder brother Clive is absolute, and he is only too proud to have him serve as his first shield, his love for carrots less so. <laughs> There's an update on this one. Uh, okay, so Archduke of the Grand Duchy of Rosaria, father of Clive and Joshua, it's the same as the first, but... Dominant of the Phoenix passed away, so he did not inherit the Icon's powers. Instead, he devoted himself to the study of swordcraft and statesmanship. Wait a minute. The previous Dominant of the Phoenix passed away, so he didn't inherit the Icon's powers. I wonder what that means. So basically, if they die while you're alive, you don't get it? That he might lead his country to the front, which he did not... Uh, did to wide acclaim in leading his armies in quelling the rebellious northern territories. Okay. That's weird. Okay, so if you're alive while your inheritor dies, then you don't get it. And the crystals work their magic through us. Mm-hmm. You have been blessed, Joshua. Blessed to be a dominant. To wield the power of an icon. Our family has been chosen to share that power with the people. But it's only your bloodline, though, right? we must do. Oh, here we go. The shanties. <laughs> They're in it, man. Is he feeling it or is he going to leave? Oh, 
Oh, he's feeling it. Oh, he's feeling it. Louder, my friend. Louder. Now he's leaving. He's like, yeah, they're, they're feeling themselves. Let me get out of here. This is some grown drunk shit. Let me leave. Little baby Torgo, bro. He's so adorable. Jill. Should be wondering where you've got to. Oh, was he not supposed to come, little Torgo? Being a fine hound. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, I guess he wasn't supposed to come. So this is where you've been hiding. What are you doing out here? I didn't see you at the feast. Feasts are the only time. Shields are allowed to take their ease, and I've never really been one for cakes and ale. It's the vegetables I don't like. <laughs> it's the vegetables I don't like. <laughs> yeah, he's a big drinker, Joshua. <laughs> he's fine with the ale, he just, the carrots, bro, the carrots. See, I'm wondering what that red one is. I wonder if it has any significance. It's in every shot of the moon so far. I hear you slew a marble. Yeah, I'm a big marble main. All the men were singing your praises. That's why we do it. Do. When I joined the ranks, everyone. Well, I mean, you wouldn't, right? If I didn't know how to handle a sword, I'd be a laughing stock. The Archduke's firstborn failure. Nah, he's not wrong there. You're the one they really believe in. I'm jealous. That's not true. They don't believe in me. They believe in the power of the dominant. That is true, also, as well. They don't believe in Joshua. They believe in the dominant. He hasn't done anything. He's like 12 years old. Phoenix. Ruler over life and death. It isn't fair. It should have been you. It should have been you, not me. I don't have what it takes First time I've heard that people. one. I don't have the strength. But you do. Every man has his duty. That is true. Again, nothing but truths here. Was decided long ago. I don't believe in that, but... ...the chose to instate the dominant as the Archduke of Rosaria. All to ensure that whenever our nation stood on a precipice, the Phoenix would rise from the flames to mm. drag us back from the brink. The fate of Rosaria sits on the dominant shoulders. It is your duty to bear that burden. What about you? I mean, he's gonna be I your designated shield. shield, yeah. There's no other way around it. Given the Phoenix's blessing to keep our future rulers safe, no matter what, however hard it gets, I'll never Aww. let you down. Thank you, Clive. I know you'll always take care of me. <laughs> oh no before I can do that you need to take care of yourself no that doesn't look good bro it's got to be right. foreboding right I should go inside it's past my bedtime <laughs> I'm the dominant but Let yes it's past my bedtime oh those are some weird ass shoes what the fuck see that they're like weird fucking plated shoes. Aww, a little baby Torgle. <laughs> 